Welcome to Better Bachelor. This is Joker with a face for radio and a voice for print. Obviously, if you clicked on this uh, this thumbnail, uh, it's very clickbaity. It's it's meant to be kind of funny because uh, there's just all the advice always tells you so so many ways to how to properly attract and get attention from women, and how to keep her happy, and everything else. Where for women, they pretty much just say like, "Be nice," you know, have uh, have a couple of jugs. And be available. <laughs> like that's that's really all it takes to to pick up women. So uh, I thought I'd have some fun and read a couple of articles that just show you how ridiculous it is. The, all the hoops you have to jump to, through to try to keep and and garner the attention of women. And this is why so many times um, guys have just said, you know, I, I'm not I'm not going to bother with this stuff. I'll just do my own thing. Uh, but the other thing that I think is funny is that. Really, what it really boils down to is if you're just yourself, you're just kind, but you do your own thing. Don't go out of your way to try to meet people or uh, do anything specific. Just live your life, and and if someone wants to talk to you, they're going to talk to you. So, I'll pull up the first uh, the first article we have, and it's from the Daily Mail. Um, women do, or women really do, find the silent, brooding type more attractive. Scientists discover happy men are significantly less attractive. There's, I wish I could say some part of that is, is surprising, but if you're just a, a grumpy, keep it to yourself guy, for some women, they find, for some reason, women find this mysterious and interesting. Uh, women find happy men significantly less attractive than those who swagger or brood, re- researchers said today. They're, they are least attracted to smiling men, instead preferring those who looked proud and powerful or moody and ashamed, according to a study. How, how okay, so how do you walk around looking proud, powerful, and ashamed? <laughs> In contrast, men are most attracted to women who look happy, at least attracted to the, and least attracted to those who appear proud and confident. That's a problem because that's like 98% of all women today. Yay me, proud and confident. The University of British Columbia study, which is the first to report a significant uh, difference in the attractiveness of smiles, helps explain the enduring allure of bad boys and other iconic gender stereotypes. It's also the first study to investigate the attractiveness of displays of pride and shame. Lead researcher, Professor Jessica Tracy said, while showing a happy face is considered essential to friendly social interactions, including those involving attraction, Few studies have actually examined whether a smile is, in fact, attractive. This study finds that men and women respond very differently to displays of emotion, including smiles. Isn't it great to know that all all your the college funding and research money is going towards really important issues that affect society today, like smiling? (laughs) More than a thousand adult participated uh, participants rated the attractiveness of hundreds of images of the opposite gender. These photos included universal displays of happiness, broad smiles, pride, raised heads and puffed up chests, and shame, lowered heads and averted eyes. The researchers found that women were least attracted to smiling happy men, in contrast to men who were most attracted to women who looked happy. Overall, the researchers said men rank women more attractive than women rank men. Shocking. Uh, Study co-author Alec Vial said, it's important to remember that this study explored first impressions of attraction to images of the opposite gender. We were not asking participants participants if they thought these targets would make good boyfriend or wife. We wanted their gut reactions on a carnal attraction level. He said previous studies have found positive emotional traits and a nice personality to be highly desirable in relationship partners. Uh, Let's see what else we've got here. Um... For example, evolutionary theories suggest females are attracted to male displays of pride because they imply status, competence, and ability to provide for a partner and offspring. And the pride expression accentuates typically masculine uh, physical features such as upper body size and masculinity, or muscularity, muscularity. Previously, research has shown that these features are among the most attractive male physical characteristics and judged by women. And they said more research is... uh, needed to understand the differences. Uh, They say generally the results appear to reflect some traditional gender norms and cultural values that have emerged 
developed and been reinforced through history, at least in Western cultures. So interesting that if you're walking around with a big grin on your face and you're super like, hey there, how you doing? <laughs> They're not having it. But if you walk around grumpy and sultry, uh, sulking all day, you're good, which is probably most of us. I think most of us probably tend to ourselves most of the time and really don't care what anybody else thinks. So we're not walking around with a big uh, goofy grin on our face. But this next article is the one that I got a biggest laugh out of. Okay, 19 science-backed ways men can appear more attractive to women. So get your pencils and pen and uh, your pencils and paper, guys. You're going to want to make notes of this. This is serious stuff. This is science-backed ways you can appear more attractive to women, and it doesn't take any work at all. So simple. Romantic attraction is a complicated thing. Science don't completely understand. But through the research and experimentation, they've come up with many ideas about what draws one person to another. Below, Business Insiders rounded up some of the most compelling scientific insights about the traits and behaviors that make men more appealing to women. The best part, none of the the items on this list require you to get cosmetic surgery or do major personal overhaul. We're talking small tweaks like acting nicer and swapping your deodorant. So you're supposed to act nicer, but also be brooding and serious. Okay. Here we go. Let's. Uh, I'm just going to jump down to the list here because that's where the fun starts. Look for someone in your league. I think most men do that and most women don't. Present yourself as high status. Um, so in other words, look like you have money. Men don't seem to be more attracted to women when they're pictured in high status context, but uh, but men men appear to be more attractive when they do so. Pretend to have money, but be brooding and serious, remember. Look older. That's easy. You just have to exist for longer on this planet. It's called the George Clooney effect. Women prefer older men um, because it suggests greater financial independence and gives women more confidence in their partner choices and attracts them to powerful, attractive older men. Again, what comes with age? Money. And that's what makes them attracted if a guy's older, powerful money. I've said it time and time on so many videos. Grow a light beard. Uh, Because I guess that may uh, see here correlates to not only with maturity and masculinity, but also with dominance and aggression. An intermediate level of beardedness is most attractive. I'm pretty close. I'm starting to get a little long, but you know. Build muscle, but not too much, much muscle. Be kind, but not too kind. (laughs) You remember, because you have to be stoic and serious all the time, right? According to the other one. Wear red. (laughs) Female undergrads, 55 female undergrads looked at a color photo of a man in either red or green shirt, rated the man's attractiveness. Sure enough, the men in red, the man was rated significantly more attractive when he was wearing a red shirt. They were similar uh, with red versus other color shirts as well. I guess the peacocking thing from the the pickup uh, community is true. Multiple, make your partner laugh. Multiple studies indicate that women are more attracted to men who can make them laugh, but be, be serious and brooding and then make them laugh. Walk a dog. I guess that shows that you're good with animals. Play good music. <laughs> So do you just walk around like, uh, do you have to get yourself one of the boom box from the 1980s and put it on your shoulder, walk around, jamming your, jamming your music when you're out for a walk, practice mindfulness. Uh, Before the session, 91 students were asked to fill out a mindfulness questionnaire in which they indicated how much they agreed with the statements like, I perceive my feelings and emotions without having to react to them. I notice changes in my body, such as whether my breathing slows down or speeds up. (laughs) I'm good at finding the words to describe my feelings. After each interaction with the opposite uh, partner, students privately indicated how attractive they found their partner and how much they'd like to date that person. Results showed that men were generally more drawn to physically attractive women. Shocking. Independent uh, coders had rated the students' attractiveness beforehand, but women were more generally attracted to mindful men. Play extreme sports carefully. Okay, Two videos ago, two two or three videos ago, I explained how the American Psychological Association said that being aggressive and being um, 
and being and doing uh, uh, dangerous activities was bad, bad, bad male um, toxicity, right? But now, now to attract a woman, you've got to play extreme sports, but carefully. Wear a scented deodorant. Okay, so don't stink. Uh, let's see. Uh, research. I want to read this because this part doesn't make sense. In a small 2009 study published in the International Journal of Cosmic, uh, Cosmetic Science, researchers gave one group of male undergraduates a spray with antimicrobial deodorants and fragrance oil and provided another group with unscented spray that didn't contain antimicrobial ingredients. Over the next few days, men who used the scented spray reported higher self-confidence and felt more attractive. The strange part, when a group of women were shown silent videos of the men, they found those who were wearing scented spray more attractive, even though they obviously couldn't smell them. So so it's just a display of confidence. So the scented deodorant doesn't have anything to really do with it. Chow down on garlic. Okay. <laughs> so you, <laughs> you see why you, nobody can take this stuff serious. These are supposedly... N- 19 scientific studies. One says to smell good from deodorant, and the other says to chow down on garlic. You're going to smell like a... Uh, I've, I've been laughing so hard that my eyes keep tearing up. Um, you're going to smell like, uh, I don't know, if you wear a uh, pine-scented, you're going to smell like uh, pine-scented like garlic spaghetti or something. Do volunteer work. <laughs> Show off your scars. Oh, you're so tough and masculine. And I'll link this if you guys want to actually read through. I know I'm just skimming over this, but it's just because it's ridiculous. Use open body language in your online dating profile. Let's see. They suggest uh, more attracted people to expansive body language. Let's see. One set of profiles, the men and women were pictured in uh, contractive positions, for example, by crossing their arms or hunching their shoulders. Another set, the same men and women were pictured in expansive positions, like holding their arm words, arms upward in a via, reaching out to grab something. Uh, showed that people in expansive postures were selected as potential dates more than those in contractive postures. So be brooding, but be like this when you're doing it. <laughs> Look proud. Yep. Okay. That's it. Uh, so, but you, you know, obviously, what I was, uh, what I was saying in the in the in the thumbnail, <laughs> what I was saying in the thumbnail is obviously the point that there. There are literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of ways that you're going to be suggested to uh, do. If you do this, it's going to help. And if you do that, it's going to help. And if you do that, out of all of them, I still like the first one. Just be brooding and silent. (laughs) Act like you're a little angry at the world. And that's apparently the easiest than going through all these other steps. Because you hear it all the time from from other videos and from other people of, oh, this is how you really get a girl's attention. And this is how... The times I've been the most successful in the dating world was when A, I wasn't looking for a relationship. B, I didn't care about really anything other than work and my friends and doing my own thing. I really didn't care much else. C, when I was in a relationship, I really really was not that committed to the relationship. I didn't have all my eggs in one basket. It, It wasn't the most important relationship to me. We were just kind of having fun, and if it went on, it went on. And those seemed to be the women that were the most attracted to me because they were always the ones that were most upset when I broke up with them. The ones that I was always the nicest to and really cared about and tried to do all these nice things for and be there for them and be supportive, they ultimately either either cheated on or end up leaving me um, in the dust, and I was the one left behind her. So really, just the best advice I can give you if you're still out there trying to meet people and date and do your thing is don't try to go date and meet people and just do your thing. Just do your thing. And if it happens, it happens. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. But if you feel like you want to go out and specifically look for someone to date, you're probably not going to have any luck because you're already in the wrong mindset. Just let it happen if it happens. Guys, if you'd like to support my work, links are below. Thank you for those that have. And uh, as always, the best things you can always do is like, comment, and share my material. Don't forget to check if you're still subscribed. I've had lots of emails from guys that said they were removed as subscribers. So please make sure that to hit that uh, subscribe and notification bell so you know what's up when all my videos get posted. Guys, I'll leave it there. This is Better Bachelor. I'm Joker. Um, just shut up. You'll be fine. <laughs>
Thank you.